Hello friends, welcome to our channel RF Design Basics. Today we are going to start learning HFSS software for designing antenna and microwave devices. For this we need to learn few basic things in this software. First of all start this software and this window will appear. To start with any design, insert new project by clicking on file and then new so this project one will appear we can rename by clicking on project one and rename I'm writing it as design one and then click on insert device HFSS design this will give us a 3D space to work on. There are several windows that can help us in designing that is edit, view and uh, project. We can insert our design from here, insert touch of the design as well as from here. And then draw, there are several uh, basic shapes available. And these are 2D shapes, rectangle, ellipse, circle and polygon and these are 3D shapes, box, cylinder, polyhedron, cone and sphere. In modeler we can uh, import and export uh, our designs. In HFSS uh, we can uh, give uh, boundaries, assign boundaries and uh, we can give excitation to our design then we can control our maze operations and uh, then uh, we can uh, give setup for analysis and uh, we can see the results there are tools and in tools option is there one options is there so just go to options and click on general options and uh, there is one default units so this will uh, show the default units used in this uh, software you can change these units if you want this is window and uh, then uh, if you need any help just press F1 and this will give you help contents From here we can uh, add 2D objects and uh, from here we can um, add uh, 3D objects. Suppose uh, I need to draw a box, so I will click on box and uh, I am starting from the origin. So click on here and move in X and Y direction in XY plane and then in Z direction. So by this we get a box. Here uh, click on box 1. You can name it. Uh, suppose I am writing it uh, I think box. And then we can change the color from here. Any color uh, we want we can choose. We can set the transparency from here. This will make opaque and uh, this will make it fully transparent. So I will keep, keep it in between. Okay. Click on box and uh, in material we can assign uh, this is uh, by default vacuum and we can assign material clicking on here edit suppose uh, I am giving it copper so just write it copper and it will come in library enter ok so now it will show copper here the material is copper Again click on create box 
this window will give dimensions of the box i have started it from the origin so uh, starting position showing 000 in x uh, direction it is uh, 1.8 and y direction it is uh, 2.2 and z uh, direction it is 1.6 mm we can change the dimensions from here suppose i am changing it to 5 mm and y direction 10 mm and then z direction 2 mm click on okay and uh, here are some tools to use rotate uh, options are there so this is uh, rotate around uh, model center this is rotate around current axis and uh, rotate around screen center so i am rotating around the current axis and from here we can rotate it and uh, this is uh, for zoom out and uh, zoom in zoom in and zoom out and then uh, this is to fit the all content in the view so this is the box we got now i will draw another structure i will draw suppose a sphere so click on a sphere and uh, start from some point move in x y direction and then in z direction so this will give you a sphere we can control the dimensions from here this is our starting point and this is radius we can change the radius and starting point here so i'm changing the radius to 5 mm okay and this way we get uh, this a sphere and uh, the by default material assigned to any object is vacuum we can change it um, by clicking on a sphere and uh, go to material if you want to assign it copper then click on copper and okay so this box and this sphere both are um, copper material now now suppose we want to uh, add this box and a sphere so click on box and then control and then sphere and uh, go to unite option click on unite and this will give us united object so this now this is a single object and uh, if you want to subtract just undo it subtracting this uh, sphere from the box and click on box and then control and then sphere and go to subtract subtract box subtract a sphere from the box so okay so this will give the final part final object if we want to subtract the box from the sphere then uh, by undoing it click on a sphere first and then control and then box and then subtract so this will subtract box from the sphere click okay so this gives the final structure so these are the some basics of this software we will discuss uh, new designs in our new video thank you